Hey, so I wanted to share another video about this little rotating sequencer that I'm building. It's just the first step in the prototype uh, for a much larger project that I'm working on. I shared a short video a couple weeks ago and I figured I'd show an update and explain a little bit more about what it's doing. So if you take a look at this metal paint drum, it's got these magnets that I've actually glued on to keep most of them in place. Each of them has a little copper piece of tape, and when they pass by each one of these four connect, um, open connections here, they close a circuit. So as they go around, um, you'll see that they touch uh, exposed wires, and uh, the wires are all connected to different solenoids, which when the electricity flows through each one, they trigger a little bolt that jumps and in this case those bolts um, hit different elements that I've got kind of wired up here on my desk just kind of shoddily wired for now but again it's a prototype that I'm making um, when I build the full instrument <clears throat> um, I'm gonna have everything really secured down and, and built nicely and you'll see each of the elements have their own little piezo microphone somewhere on them. They're not optimi uh, optimally placed at all. I just kind of stuck them here and there just to make sure that um, I can get a signal from these um, little desk elements into my um, DAW interface. So in this instance, I'm using the Scarlett um, 18i20. It's got eight inputs, and I happen to have a few um, preamps that I've collected over the years. So everything is going through there, these four um, piezo elements, and from there they're going into my Ableton. Um, I had some uh, MIDI tracks here that I was using just for reference, but all of the different piezo microphones are going into their own channel, um, and some are duplicated a number of times and each of those channels has a series of different effects on it in order to get um, cool uh, echoing sounds or randomized sounds uh, so that when I have this um, going I'm gonna turn on this little rotating turntable here um, So you can see that it's not really uh, that impressive of a beat right now. It's kind of quiet. Um, but because I have uh, the microphones feeding through, I can amplify the sound. So I'm just going to unmute the signal here and um, you can hear some of the processing that I've done. Here we go. And that's all playing live. Again, just the beginning of the prototype. And here, this is always fun. I'm gonna stop this for rotating. I'm gonna unmute my speakers here. You can hear how loud some of these um, preamps or the, the compressors are. And I'll just manually advance this.
anyhow, so this is the kind of the, the ground floor of um, the first part of a larger instrument I'm going to build. This is just going to keep a beat, but then I'm going to have an, a whole nother um, s section of moving um, elements that's going to play more of a melody. So it's coming together and I just enjoy sharing um, and getting feedback. Um, let me know what you think and uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll get some questions like why and uh, I'm, I'm ready for those as well. <laughs> All right, bye.